Welcome, I'm Jennifer, this is The Country Life, and we're getting started with supper here on this Tuesday night. We are having um, venison mini roasts, and I'm just give, putting a really good sear on them, and then mixing up a can of cream of celery soup with a couple teaspoons of roasted beef seasoning. At this point, I'm going to cover these venison roasts and put them in the oven, 300 degrees, We've already been serving up, this was seven venison mini roasts, and what I did once I took it out of the oven after two hours at 300, I just kind of stuck a fork in it and I kind of pulled each one apart into three pieces. I also made some instant mashed potatoes and we're serving it up with some cranberry sauce. And then Peter found a recipe. He picked out this book from the library today and he found a recipe for sausage popovers. He did not want to make the gravy, it made like a it's kind of an onion gravy. He didn't want to do that, but he did make the popovers for us, so we're also having a popover with our supper tonight. All right, second stop of the day, quick trip, butter at $2.99. That was from somebody online Let me know this deal. It didn't show up in our little weekly newspaper. Super exciting here. Taxes are done. <laughs> I said to the kids in the car, I'm like, raise the roof, <laughs> taxes are done. All right, we are just home for a very short time here before we have to head in back into town for uh, co-op, homeschool co-op. And so I'm just going to take this time to put away laundry, get my bed made, because I see that didn't get done this morning, um, put away Warren's laundry, and start up a load of laundry. <laughs> We just stopped into IGA to pick up a few things for um, lunch because tomorrow we have a field trip. We need to pack a lunch. And we hit the jackpot, you guys. They had, they always have a closeout spot at IGA in the, like in the dairy area. And we got all these Kit Kat colliders. They're like a little vanilla flavored dessert, refrigerated like dessert. Anyway, 25 cents a piece. I got some French onion dip, 25 cents. We got packs of yogurt, a four pack of yogurt. I think that was 20 or 50. Yeah. 50 cents for a four pack of yogurt. We got Danimal smoothies for 25 cents, right? Nope, 50 cents for a six pack of the Danimals. Anyway, if you have kind of a, a small you know what tends to be a little bit more pricey of a grocery store look around for their discount rack <clears throat> you can get a lot of really good prices so just wanted to uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys well good morning everybody the weather stick is pointing up which is supposed to mean good weather but we are setting up for it's going to be breezy we're actually heading to a field trip today. We're going to an environmental station. There's gonna be all kinds of activities and things for the kids. They break down into groups. Um, yep, looks like Peter's gonna chase the chickens in right now. I've got raincoats, hat, all the things. Oh, good morning. What chicken do we have here today? Golden cookie. Golden cookie, of course. Mm-hmm. All righty, Maria, you ready? Mm-hmm. We got lunches packed. Yep, yeah, I put them in the back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you are up close in here today. <laughs> Maybe it zoomed in up. on you. There you go. Well, this should be fun. It's going to be a little drive, but it should be fun. had a super fun time at our at the field trip to the environmental station I'm at Walmart now looking for these taco racks because I want to try tonight for supper the I think it's probably like a viral smash taco thing anyway the lady is looking because she says her computer says they have five of them but there's the rack and we've searched there are nowhere around here to be found so she's in the back looking 
crossing our fingers right now. Well, sadly, I am pulling away from Walmart without any taco holder. They, she said that there were five in stock, but she couldn't find them, I couldn't find them. Bummer. So, so we started out here. All right, let me show you what I got. So these are two ounces, actually just a smidge over two ounces, uh, ground beef this time, and put them on my hot, Blackstone, put a little oil down first, and now I'm just putting the tortillas on them. I guess I put them a little too close. Just give them a little bit of a smush. Alright, I better take this one off. Can't quite do that many at, at one time. Alright, now I'm going to go through. This is going to be tricky, but I'm going to use this cast iron pan and I'm going to push down, making sure that it gets pretty flat. I might have to put the camera down uh, to get it a little bit flatter. Alright, I needed a little more muscle. So we're just pushing it down. I think we're supposed to cook it like that for about two or three minutes. All right. Oh, it smells good. This is hot. Yeah, yeah that's good. hot. We did that, but I and I think I'm supposed to turn the heat down a little bit too. Wow. And so Peter did this All right, so far they don't quite look like what I was seeing online. <laughs> I think these are the, oh, these are the soft taco sized tortillas. Um, and I'm using the same amount of meat as he did. I don't know, he was able to get his flattened, so it literally flattened and went all the way to the edge of the taco shell. All right, I turned my heat down to low. Now I'm dumping the seasoning on, which is just like what he did. And just enough taco seasoning, I guess. And now we're going to, without the how are we gonna do this you guys <laughs> okay that's not really gonna work I was thinking maybe I could kind of balance them in between here I don't really know how this is gonna work let me and I don't have another hand so all right I'll be back all right well did I do it did I make them look like the picture not quite what do you need well I could only fit four in here and I have four more to get off. So maybe like a container or something. All right, that first batch went in. We're going for the second batch here now. I did try to flatten these a little sooner. So I'm hoping that that helps. All right, for anybody interested in cleaning up a black stone, here's what I do. Well, we, we do this, Warren does this too. So we keep it turned to high, and then Warren just brought me out a cup of water here, and I pour the water on here, and it just basically steams off a lot. And, once I'll, and I just kind of keep scraping it around, getting the corners and everything, and then once it gets, like there's not much water, and it's just kind of like some some little chunks or whatever. Then I start pushing it all down that little um, opening there and there's a little foil pan back there. And then I just bring out like three paper towels here and I just rub it all around. And at that point, everything has cleaned up. Yep, I just keep doing that until it's clean. This is gonna go into the garbage. <laughs> and then I just put a little layer. Whoops, I gotta turn it off. Ah, turn it off. At this point, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. And then I put a little layer of oil on it like that. And I'm just going to kind of scrape it back and forth. Because if you don't do this step and it gets any moisture underneath the lid, it will rust. 
sometimes too I'll use a paper towel I'll put that down at this point that helps me to kind of let me fold that up there we go that helps me to spread it around and make sure I get it into all the grooves or into all the corners Warren took the tacos and put them in the oven on warm just so that they could stay, well, warm. <laughs> All right, this is the finished product. I would say that these shells seem a little big for the amount of meat. Who wants to be on camera biting into their... Peter? Peter's willing to be on camera? Wait, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> oh, Maria wants to... What do you think? Really good. Good. I see Joe picked off some of his meat, extra tortilla. <laughs> and it's just going to eat the meat. Mm. Really good. It's good. How about you, Warren? What are you thinking mm. about these? Is this like a make again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try these the Big Mac style with the Big Mac sauce and stuff. That would be good pickles. So all of the... <laughs> Smash tacos, they're gone. Every single one got eaten. We made 11. I figured two for each of us. It's just Warren and me and the three younger kids home tonight. And with, there would be one extra and that one even got eaten. So they were definitely a winner. If you have a black stone or you have a griddle or something in the house, I would highly recommend making them. Um, I would, I will do them again for sure. But what I'm going to do is get the, I think it's called the fajita size tortillas, which will be a smaller tortilla. I think it's just going to work better. Uh, then you won't have so much overhang of the tortilla. Although that was okay too. The tortilla got nice and crunchy. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like soft and mushy or anything. It got crunchy. So, all right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It was just kind of feels again. Hi, Joe. Where are you? <laughs> feels here. like it was a little bit all over the place. Um, just because there wasn't like, like a main, here. I come here, I'm right here. There wasn't a main theme. Uh, it doesn't feel like to this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And let me know if you make smash tacos. See ya. <laughs>